Welcome back. And today we are helping Anonymous, who is somehow stuck in her life. Yeah, she needs help because of she she's now feeling overwhelmed by whatever that is happening in their life. So she feels stuck. And can I look coach Pindigamu umutusa literally how to? Unstuck, yeah? <laughs> Certainly. You know, and, and like, like we said before the break, when we speak unstuck, we talk about a ditch. Being in a ditch feels overwhelming, of course, because if it's a ditch, it's like a hole in a pit. Mm. All you see around you is darkness, there's hopelessness. That's where um, normally it will then escalate to becoming depression because um, it, it causes a form of in chemical, um, a chemical imbalances mm -hmm. in your head sure. and you feel overwhelmed, you feel sad and you feel hopeless, like you can't get out of the stitch. Mm. And oftentimes, it can be diagnosed um, if it is, you know, chronic depression or it's acute depression, depression that needs to be diagnosed. Um, and another form of it is just really you do feel oppressed and depressed at that time. Okay. And so it's, it's, it's okay to feel like that. In other words, it's understandable to feel like that. But what I wouldn't encourage somebody to do is to stay in the ditch. Yeah. Often, oftentimes we stay in the ditch because we, we, we draw the blame game. Get a blame game card sure. and the second you play that card you will always win mm. because you are always blaming somebody tossing the card and yeah. you end up with no cards to play Eish. the game of life and so it's very critical and imperative that you need to make sure that it's not the government by the way mm -hmm. it is not your poor background and coach Torres we're talking like this we look fancy nowadays but I come from a background where we used pit toilets yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what we did because and, Gandhi. yeah because Gandhi now. <laughs> okay I'm not dangerous but because Gandhi. I'm from social okay <laughs> so so you understand that um if we had made our our upbringing background. and our background mm. a a a reason or rather a um a reason not to move forward, yes, sure. and made it an excuse, mm. we wouldn't be where we are. That's so so, true. so we, we take the blame cards and we throw them, we ditch them, we, we put them in the ditch, and then once we put them in the ditch, we start climbing up because they see. become a ladder. Mm. So you 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 throw away the, the blame game to the government and to up bring the pit toilet, your mother, the lack your of a father, and all, that, and all yeah. that. We had all of that. I grew up without my father, my mother's a domestic worker. We 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 we, we come from that. No one owes you anything, my darling. No one. The yeah. world doesn't owe you anything, <laughs> yeah. you know. And and so we need to realize that so so you, 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 you have to take those, throw them in the ditch, climb up out of the ditch and understand that it fully lies on you. Mm. Um, a Chinese proverb says, um, you know, you cannot prevent the birds of sorrow from flying over your head. Yeah. So a bird will come. It could be any breed of a bird. It will come over. You can't really tell it. I mean, you can't speak bird language. So mm. it's going to come regardless of whether you want it or not. And what happens is that when it flies over your head, it's got the probability to build a nest. There's a That's high true. chance that it's going to build a nest. Mm. The second it builds a nest, it means that it targets you as a resting place. You're going to become its home. Mm. It's going to build a nest and stay there and bring other birds. And yeah. Yeah, high and then mm. oh, and then there's going to be eggs and then it's just going to be a generation of birds that live on your head sure so you can't prevent them from flying over your head but you can prevent them from building a nest um you didn't bring yourself in poverty your marriage is not falling apart because you did something uh, you know distinctively visible you're not in that situation it's, it's somebody raped you because I mean, remember we don't know what exactly stuck mm, in her life that's so true. we've got to be general now um it, it could be the rape it could be your mother your father who molested you it could be your business that was liquidated mm. it could be your family members or your church members that forsaken for, for, forsake you in your worst you know time, time sure. so whatever it may be it's birds of sorrow that you obviously did not invite you did not call them there was no invitation but now they are they are hovering over your head this is life things that's happen. just like things happen certain things you don't have control over at all yeah. whether externally or internally and so life will always throw curveballs but now it, it it doesn't matter how many birds decide to fly over your head the decision comes from you whether are you going to allow them to rest and build a nest and become a generational curse in mm. your life and so you have the right to when they start flying over shush go yeah. away you move over, man. yes get a camper on top of your head and then there are those like 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 our dear friend um obviously the, the birds have started building a nest over her head hence she feels overwhelmed yeah. and stuck yeah. but but because they've built a nest, it doesn't mean that the nest has to stay there. You still have the power in you to remove the nest, brush it off, kill those eggs so that it, it doesn't perpetuate. The, mm. the younger birds don't bring it's other birds. Being. Exactly. Sure. So you're able to break that cycle completely. Mm. And the power lies within you. One of my favorite speakers, um, he's a powerful man, passed, uh, passed away a few years ago, um, and he's an investor. His name is Jim Ron. 
Um, you know, I loved how Jim Ron was able to really come to you, no matter how much of a ditch you're in and pull you out. Mm. And, you know, one of his famous quotes is, um, it takes one direction, it takes one decision to a new direction of your life. So if you are going a certain way, you're going north, and you can see that north is, it's a ditch, it's, it's the depression, it's the pain, it's the hurt. You are living in misery of, oh, my childhood, my mother, my mm. friends. Being a victim. Heart. Being a victim. Yeah, sure. you always play victim. And, mm. and, and, you know, it sounds careless when we use the word play victim it's as if we're under undermining what one's what going, you're going through. through no sure. when we start saying there's a difference between being victim and playing victim being victim you're a victim of circumstance that's it sure. when you start playing it is when you know you're allowing the situation to gun you down mm. and it becomes a pity party sure. we can't allow that mm. um uh, we understand that you were raped but you're not going to sit there and have your rapist hold your life, um, whole life. At, at gunpoint mm. you know emotionally for the rest of your life so the thing is um, you know, when you make the direction and you're going north and you can see that north is not yielding the results that you want. It takes one decision. Taurus, I'm not even saying make a complete, you know, uh, uh, everything is going to drastically change now, but you have to change direction at least. And mm. it takes a decision. Mm. So you you sit down, you you commit to yourself that this is the time for me to turn around to turn because around. north is not taking me to where I want to be. This is not the de desired destination. And so because there's something that I want to get to, I need to change the direction. Mm. You might not get to your destination overnight, but the decision can be made overnight. Mm. It's, it goes back to how tired are you with being tired? Right. I mean, if you're not tired enough, then you're still going to be allowing those birds to be camping on top of your head. 100%. But until you say that this is enough, it's enough. Yes. I need to now get back my life again and yes. just move ahead with it. Yeah. I love it. You are nailing it to the point. <laughs> <laughs> we are nailing it to the point. You had that, right? It is up to you. It takes one decision to change your life, yeah? It takes one decision to change your life. Let's talk more after the break.